Dear students, now we are going to discuss thermal control subsystem. It is very important to maintain the mean spacecraft temperature and temperatures of all the subsystems within the suitable limit for the proper functioning of the satellite. Because the performance and reliability of the satellite depend on the temperature. That is, the satellite equipments should operate in a stable temperature environment for satisfactory operation. Okay, but here the satellites are subject to large temperature gradients. That is, satellites are widely affected by the temperature variations as well as radiations from the earth, sun and the reflections. Okay, so here sources of temperature gradients. There are four important sources here. One is solar radiation that is thermal radiation directly from the sun. Next one is earth radiation. The third one is albedo radiation. So what is albedo? So it is a fraction of the thermal radiation from the sun falling on the earth and get reflected to the satellite. Okay. And the last one is equipments in the satellite itself generate the heat. Okay, these four are the sources of temperature gradients in satellite communication. So in this one, the thermal radiation from the earth as well as albedo, these two are negligible in this geostationary satellites because it is located far away from the earth. Okay, at the same time, it will only affect the low earth orbiting satellite. Okay, so here four sources are solar radiation, earth emitted radiation, earth albedo effect and the equipments in the satellite. Okay, as we discussed thermal radiation from earth and albedo effects are negligible in geostationary satellites but at the same time it will affect the low earth orbiting satellites. Okay, so next steps to provide thermal insulation to control the temperature variations. Here we can use thermal blankets and shields to provide insulation from thermal gradients. Okay. So next radiation mirrors are also used to remove the heat from the payload. So within the satellites the equipments will generate the radiation, thermal radiation that can be avoided by using radiation mirrors. Okay. So and also in order to maintain the constant temperature environment, heaters may be switched on when the transponders are switched off. So heaters can also be used here, okay, to maintain the constant temperature, okay. So next one is advantages of spinning satellite. So here in the spinning satellite, it is in the shape of cylindrical. So here it provides an average temperature of the extreme level of thermal radiation from solar flux and also the cold background of deep space. So whatever thermal radiation from sun, earth, albedo, all this can be averaged by releasing the heat to the space. Do you all understand this one? So that is the advantage of spinning satellite.